हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न टावर ऑफ हेनॉय वॉट इज टावर ऑफ हेनॉय प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ ए मैथमेटिकल गेम और पजल विच इज सॉल्व बाई यूजिंग रिकेशन दैट मीन्स इट इज़ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ स्टैक इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री रॉड्स लेट ए बी एंड सी एंड मल्टीपल डिस्क लेट एन ऑफ डिफरेंट साइजेस दैट मीन्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव थ्री रॉड्स एंड मल्टीपल डिस्क ऑफ डिफरेंट साइजेस Initially the arrangement of the disk in rod A is such that every smaller disk is placed on the larger disk as you can see here we have three number of disk and three number of rods and initially the disk of different sizes are placed in rod A but here the smaller disk always placed over the larger disk the problem tower of hanai states that that move the end disk from rod a to rod c using intermediate rod b in this problem what we have to do we have to move all these disk all end disk from tower a to tower c using this intermediate rod why intermediate rod is given to us because there are some conditions while while placing these disk on rod c only the top disk on, on any rod may be moved to any other rod that means you can only move topmost disk from any rod to any other rod you cannot move this disk from rod a to b or c until you remove this disk from this rod another condition is a large disk should never rest on smaller one you cannot place larger disk over the smaller disk these are the two condition that we have to follow while moving disk from rod a to rod c that's why we need a intermediate rod b how we solve this tower of hanoi problem first you have to move n minus 1 disk from a to b using c rod this is the first step that means you have to move two and one disk from rod a to rod b but how can we do this here you can see step 1 says that we have to move top n minus 1 disk here the value of n is 3 that means 3 minus 1 is 2 we have to move these two disk from a to b using c to first you have to move this top disk from a to c because we move one disk at a time from one rod to another rod that's why we have to first move disk 1 to rod c then we move disk 2 from a to b here you can see that now we now we move this disk from rod c to rod b so we have performed the first step by following these three steps now the rod b contains one and two disk and rod a contains third disk we perform this step now second step is move the remaining disk from a to c remaining disk is third disk so we have to move third disk from a to c third step is move the n minus disk from b to c using a so now again what we have to do we have to move this n minus 1 that means two disk from b to c using a as intermediate rod and this is our final answer how we perform this step first we have to move disk 1 from b to a then move disk 2 from b to c now move disk from a to c in this way we can place all the disk in rod c such that all smaller disk are placed over larger one now let's see the algorithm for tower of hanoi first you have to write algorithm then name of algorithm is hanoi we need four parameters n a b and c purpose of this algorithm is this algorithm moves n disk from a to c assumptions are here n is the number of disk 
A is source tower, B is intermediate tower and C is destination tower. Step 1. Check whether the number of disk given is positive or not. Here n is the number of disks, it should be, should be greater than 0. So if the value of n is less than or equal to 0, then we have to return that means exit from this algorithm. First we have to move n minus 1 disk from A to B using C. So we call this algorithm recursively and first parameter we pass is n minus 1 because the first parameter is number of disk. So here we have to move n minus 1 disk from A to B using C as intermediate. Here you can see first parameter is the source tower, B is the intermediate and C is the destination tower. Here our source is A, destination is B and intermediate is C. So, so first we have to pass the source tower, then intermediate tower and then destination tower. After that, we have to move the nth disk, that means last disk from A to C. So, we have to print move disk n from A to C. In step 4, we have to perform this same step, but here the source is the B tower and the destination is the C tower and intermediate tower is the A. We have to move n minus 1 disk from, a, from B to C using A as intermediate tower. Again, we call the algorithm recursively by writing its name Hanoi. Number of disk are now n minus 1. We have to move n minus 1 disk from B to C using A as intermediate. So, first we have to write B, then A, and then C. The 5 is AND. In next video, we will learn Q, which is also an example of linear data structure. Thank you.